The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he's basically been holding down the fort for this show for the since basically Jeremy Joseph retires. Please welcome the very funny and very gay Mr. JP. JP. That's right. Man, do you hear they're going crazy? Nuts. Wow. Absolutely nuts for you, JP. Awesome. Uh, and we have another very funny stand up comedian. So funny, he just opened for the very famous Mr. Polly Shore. Please welcome in the very funny Mr. Steve Peters. Thank you for having me. I appreciate the opportunity to be on lots <laughs> lots yeah yeah that is kind of what it is anyways uh-huh. well yeah uh, but anyways, guys, if this is the very first time you've ever listened ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that don't have to do with sports at all. This is also a adult. This is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend people who are easily offended. So if that's you, you're in the wrong place. Get out of here. Thank you and bye. Woo, boys. That was far less fucked. Than before, you yeah, usually you said "fuck" in there a lot. I did, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying, you know, turn over a new leaf, though, Steve. We're trying to get new listeners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more of a family show. <laughs> yeah, we're a family show now. Well, yeah. as everyone that JP has blown would say, <laughs> that's gay. Yeah. I'll be the gay uncle. <laughs> yeah, you will. Uh, but we do have an excellent show for you guys today. We've got uh, some headlines to go over. I'm basically Dave <laughs> Coulier. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, Just shit. call me Uncle Joey. That's Cut right. It out. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have uh, the return of what would you do? Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. I said I never have I ever. I figured that would be a little bit more fun, and then I posted that. And then, like, I'd say 80% of the people didn't read the fucking yeah. thing and gave me a whole bunch of never, ever, ever shit. But anyways, we have That's Where I Draw the Line, which is JP's favorite segment. Questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, we wrap things up with a shitty situation. Uh, but to kick this bad boy off, we like to talk about us because we're mm. narcissistic pricks and uh, like to tell you what's happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. And as usual, we're going to kick things off with JP because you did a lot, didn't you? Yeah. Drinking, smoking, straight West Coast. And <laughs> there you go, buddy. All two weeks. Two weeks, Oh, and man. bowling. You went bowling? bowling? Yeah. Uh, speaking of bowling, um, there was actually a listener that had a question specifically for you. Oh, yeah? And he wants to know, what is your opinion on Pittsburgh's balls out bowling where nudity is required? Let's so, go to Pittsburgh. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm imagining this, bowlers. Uh, normally, <laughs> I'd be all for something like this. Uh-huh. But if you've ever been to Pittsburgh <laughs> or a bowling alley <laughs> anywhere, yeah, you don't want to see those people nude. <laughs> no, you don't. This is not a good thing. No. All right, here's the deal. We're not talking about like the college bowlers. We're talking about like if I were to go out there and get naked. You know, Twenty years ago, I would have loved that. But yeah, now, yeah, I yeah. don't even like to look at myself in the mirror after I get out of the shower. Oh, so yeah, yeah I'm going to have to say. Overrated. Overrated. <laughs> way, way overrated. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I am making notes to look this up later on. <laughs> you know, I think sure. you'll I think, regret it. Uh, dude, I think that'd be awesome. I mean, bowlers that's are professional athletes. <laughs> yeah, that's what you'd think. You know? Yeah. Where do, what else are you going to do with the nacho cheese? I, you I, just put it in some... 
I different don't, places and yeah that's awesome man. i'm just wow. thinking of forklift carl you know he's just uh that yeah. guy he, he's he's yeah. bowling excellent but my god Dude, he's got a dump truck or roy something. munson <laughs> would look amazing <laughs> naked Dude, could you imagine, imagine bowling yeah <laughs> yeah that'd be roy awesome munson would be one thing but how about uh fucking the other guy uh, <laughs> well, uh oh um fuck who was the other guy i don't know i'm lost over here <sighs> what you've I, never seen kingpin it's i saw i've seen it once what the One fuck time. is wrong with and then, you? And then I, I just want to see Roy Munson's it was landlord. A, it was naked. a bowling movie, and She's I was hot. like, "Fuck that!" He ate her out, and he puked for an hour and a half. <laughs> but it paid his rent. Hey. I think that's a fair trade. That I is guess. Fair. I guess so. Um, she did say he was being a little over dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, so, anyway. so you bowled? I bowled. Yeah, how'd you do? Bad and good. Okay, that's fine. I shot my lowest game of the season. Oh, that's bad. Uh, Thursday, last Thursday night. Yeah. It was 137. Oh. And I was trying. So that's pretty fucking yeah, ridiculous. That's bad. So. I think I may have bowled 137 before. <sighs> Not to rub it in. No, good job. Yeah, I'm Man, just saying. I'm fucking <laughs> impressed. My daughter's 12. That's what she bowls on yeah, average. On average. Uh -huh. Good. Good. So, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Played some poker. Yeah. Uh, me and you got a head-to-head -head match uh, this yeah, weekend. Yeah, we do. It's yeah. going down. It's going down for real. Over at Derek's. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Are you playing? I don't know. Come Maybe. On, man. I might. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that bitch. See there what there you go. See what happens. You're not doing nothing anyway. else. I, Probably not. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. You got to open for Pauly Shore again? Yeah. <laughs> that guy is fun. He's good. Very hey man, quit touching my I'm microphone. I'm sorry. The, the tip was coming off. Can you please? I'm <laughs> sorry. Look, you're gonna get me excited, <laughs> and then know. you're gonna have to finish me off. And the whole uh, show's gonna go off. It's the rails. gonna go crazy. Um, I don't think anybody would even notice. Probably not. Oh, they'd notice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, I guess I'll kick my week off if you legitimately. Yeah, that's, that's legitimately okay. all I did, man. Um, uh, fucking anticlimactic. So there's a, there's a very famous stand-up comedian uh, who calls himself 10 milligram Tom. That would be Tom Segura. Literally never heard of it. Oh, yeah. Tom Segura. All right, I've been. But whenever yeah. he has uh, whenever he has edibles, Tom safe. Yeah, whenever he has edibles, he calls himself 10 milligram Tom. Mm -hmm. Well, Scotty became 10 milligram Scotty over the last couple of days. Oh man, that's a good time. Nice. It's very Dude. nice. I try, I've been nice. trying to tell you, man. Uh, oh, it's man. where it's at. That is where it's at. It is where it's at. And it's it not. It makes everything more fun. It does. Or makes everything uh, really sleepy. Uh, that, Either that, way. That's what I got. I, I mean, but it was great. Why do you think I'm so lazy? That's true. <laughs> that makes a good point. Uh, but no, I tried uh, I, because I don't sleep very well naturally whenever you work a full time job and shit like that. And then uh, you come home and you have to edit a fucking podcast on top of it. You just your hours get all fucked up. So I tried this and uh, man, oh, man, that was a that was a good sleep. Every bone and muscle relaxes. It's fucking great. Uh, so there's that. We should just start doing this live. Uh, we probably should. It'd be a it'd very be, it'd be yeah. It'd be entertaining. Uh, Steve would be it's a kind of a his live, isn't it? I mean, we don't really no. edit it. Yeah, we don't. Oh, yes, he does. I, oh, sometimes. <laughs> uh, but uh, the other really fun thing I got to do was clean out my garage over the last weekend. Oh, that's cool, oh, man. You have man. a garage. That's cool. Yeah, and that garage was uh, like fucking destroyed. It was so destroyed. I, I didn't realize how lazy my wife is but whenever we like um <laughs> she should be cleaning out the garage a little 100%. bit better i agree that is yeah. some bullshit <laughs> no dude it's this bad i actually had to have our trash company uh bring an actual commercial grade like trash receptacle Holy shit dude it was that bad wow and you have a pickup truck i know but i'm i, I want to i want this is that's what a, i want that's a show truck sir not yeah, a work truck that's true that's true but the other thing is is i don't want to put it in my truck drive it all the way across town and then like damage my truck or let shit fall out i want to i rest my case yeah that's true exactly so i want to pay somebody to come and bring me the trash receptacle and then make it really easy for me and that's perfectly fine that's how capitalism works it's I a pay, service I, I paid for somebody to bring me a trash receptacle once. <laughs> what you? was his name? <laughs> Brent. <laughs> that was a cum dumpster. That's different. Uh, yeah. That's different. Um, Probably cost less. Yeah. But for sure. I did actually like go through a whole bunch of shit that I haven't seen for a long time. And it was kind of sad throwing away certain stuff. 
but I found the entire, like my entire collection of PlayStation Four video games that I didn't know where they were. So now I'm back on it, baby. All right. I'm back on it. Red Dead Redemption Two. Here we come. I'm there doing you it go. again. Nice. And then the last thing I will talk about is I got really overly upset about something that I just, I mean, it's in our everyday life, but when you actually think about it and and it happens to you, it really frustrates the fuck out of you. And that is calling to go orders and then you pay and they have the tip here, tip this amount uh-huh. and you working in the restaurant industry. What is your opinions on such things? I always just do the tip that amount. I, I always do only because uh, then I don't have to fuck with it when they get there. Well, right. No, I'm saying I'm saying they they ask you for a tip whenever they like just they. You mean your, like Uber Eats? They do like eighteen percent, twenty percent stuff mm, like that. I think it's easy. I just hit it. It's almost go. like when you go and get fucking gas anymore. That they they you put your card in and then there's a thing. Do you want to tip like eighteen to twenty percent? It's like no. absolutely fucking not. I no. pumped my own goddamn gas. Well, you didn't well, make your own fucking food. I, I did. did. I don't you lazy give a fuck. I, I did. Ru- I did run into that at uh, Medi's the other day. They don't leave an option to not tip. See, so we like it's it's literally you you don't have an option to not tip, and so it took me like three times to figure out if you just type in zero 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 and hit enter, then the tip is zero. But I mean, it's not. I'm not trying to be a dick, but the chick literally was like, she goes, "What do you want?" And I go, "I just want a a lamb shawarma and hummus." And she's like, "All right, here you go. Here's your number, bro. Fuck off. I'm not tipping twenty percent on here's your number. That's where you know what I mean. Come on. That's why I was upset." That was the whole reason. I mean, I, but I I'll t- always tip delivery drivers I, and like 100%. an actual an actual server, an actual waitress yes. or waiter or something like that. Of course, I always tip uh, at least twenty five percent, if not more. Same. But if you're just standing at a cash register, yes. I, I don't. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I, that's kind and of. My I, and point. I've worked in the service industry since I was fourteen years old. Right. And, and you, but no, I'm 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 good on that. What do you think about this? Like, well, I mean, you have to go orders. Yeah. And and. I mean, what would you do? Would you if, tip? On a to-go order? Yeah. On Uber, I always tip 18% before it ever gets to my house. Right. Yeah, that's good. I mean, yeah. it's just standard. I yeah, do. absolutely. But, I mean, but would you tip the person behind the counter? I would, only because I'm fucking in that industry. Yeah, and, okay. But that's why. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I don't get like upset when to-go orders don't tip. I could give a shit. Yeah, not only that, she was kind of rude, so I didn't yeah. want to. That was probably the thing that actually pissed me off the most. But anyways, that was my week. That's it. Mr. Steve Peters, it's been quite a few weeks. Dude, I don't know if I can top this. Yeah, I know. Holy shit. No, Bowling and yeah. to-go orders. How's, yeah, how's, That was pretty fucking good intense. luck. How's therapy going? Uh, No longer in therapy. Oh, damn. That guy quit. I decided. <laughs> <laughs> He's healed. You yeah. know who does my therapy? Who? Mr. John Jameson. Yeah. He's in Ireland. Yep. He's a good, uh, I've heard he's a very good, good guy. Good dude, yeah. Yeah. Mix him with a little water and everything is fine. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I uh, I don't know. I mean, today I woke up and uh, I've been doing these cold plunges every single day. I turned, I found a freezer on Facebook Marketplace for hundred bucks, and then turned it into a cold plunge. So it's at forty, usually about forty eight degrees is where I leave it at, mm-hmm. uh, and I do five minutes in that. Um, and I've been trying to lose weight too. Yeah. So I turned it into like this little podcast thing that's on my YouTube page, and I usually post it on my Facebook. It's called Shrinking Peters. Uh, <laughs> nice. Dude, I'm no, I swear to you, when I get out of that fucking cold plunge, I have to pop my dick out like a pimple. It's <laughs> it's that bad. Like it tries to go back inside. Like like fuck you, Dylan Mulvaney. Mine really does turn into a vagina. <laughs> oh shit! I better get a Bud Light can for that. <laughs> you should. But, uh, <laughs> Anyway, I feel like a dick because I started that uh, last week on Tuesday and I went and dropped my wife off for a colonoscopy at 7 a.m. and then came home, was going to do my cold plunge, take the kids to school, go back and pick her up. And then uh, I went back to pick her up and we found out that she had a large mass in her colon that was confirmed is colon cancer. Mm. So it was a bad. Yeah, that's. Mm. Yeah. 
So I turned into a blubbering fucking baby the whole entire time. And then she got mad because she's a gangster and is way <laughs> tougher than me. Uh, so we found out Wednesday that it is not spread to anywhere else in her body. She had a full body scan and they think that they can just go ahead and surgically remove it. And then that'll be it. They think it's an anomaly and it was weird. And she's only 44 years old and it's been there for five to 10 years. So, wow. wow. Yeah. So bad news, good news. And then Friday morning, uh, I get the call. Hey, you're opening for Polly Shore all weekend long. And I was just like, what in the fuck is like, are they just trying to give me a heart attack? Like what's going on here? And so then I went and fucking murdered it Friday and Saturday with Polly Shore and had a great time. Friday was just me and Polly. And then Saturday was me, Derek and or Derek Alders and Megan Welch. Yeah. For Polly Shore. Yeah. It was a fucking badass dude that I got to work with them. That was amazing. And then so I went back on all the cold plunge shit yesterday. And today uh, I am trying to shrink. Like I really am trying to lose weight. So today I got up, did the cold plunge, went on a mile run. And then uh, I don't know. Oh, I went and gave blood earlier today too at 1 p.m. So these vodka waters are, are hitting a little different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's therapy. But it's been, uh, it's been a fucking day. Yeah. It's been a week. It's been a couple of weeks, man. I, I don't know. I, uh, what, was your, what was your experience with Polly Shore? But for, for, first of all, first of all, do you very know? Very interesting. I'm sure. But do you know how many people like like younger people don't know who the fuck he is? Yeah. Well, yeah, sh- completely understandable. How, That's how do you not? How do you think they would know? Yeah, I, that's I don't, true. I don't know. Whenever I was a kid, I watched movies that were made in the 80s. You know, I went yeah, back and grew and, up in way long ago. You I, know what I mean? Like that was closer that was to like right now. Like yeah. right, that, that would be like us being born i was born in 76 so that would be like me watching movies from the 50s yeah okay. like you know what i mean like i'm not doing that like i mean godzilla or something maybe i don't know when that was made but you know what i mean like i don't know it Ooh, would, uh, it's got a zero <laughs> yeah exactly it was, <laughs> i was gonna yeah. say which one yeah. uh but yeah yeah so. so what was what was the overall experience other than i'm sure he's a fucking weird guy he's a very strange guy um he is very in charge like he's micromanaged like big time he is not a fun hang um there's other comics that i've worked with that are very famous that are a fucking blast to hang around Mm -hmm. and they treat you like a normal human being and you know being in burt kreischer's green room with chris porter and having fun and doing that was great um paul shore is more a little standoffish don't talk to me do this bye you know what i mean and then and then send us to our own little separate green room yeah whatever dude yeah I don't, you know what i mean and and the other thing is he does own the comedy store and i feel like that does i mean by default i guess he owns the comedy store but yeah. i feel like that has something to do with him being a little more standoffish because every fucking comic in the entire world that's done five minutes on an open mic <laughs> is like hey bro can you get me up to the comedy store like you know what i mean like i'm sure he hears all kinds of crazy shit um but you know, and he doesn't know where I'm from, what I do, uh, what sure, I, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, it was, it was okay. Yeah. I enjoyed the experience of performing in front of that many people. What? Uh, Did you see his Instagram story? Uh, uh-uh. uh, Derek and Megan. Oh yeah. And I guess I was on it the day before. And I didn't even know it, it because before dude, I didn't follow him. So it didn't <laughs> tag me in the Instagram story. Der- I didn't even follow the dude <laughs> at the very bottom of the screen. It had Derek's name. D E R E C K. Yep. Uh. Yep. yep. That was great. Well, and that, and that Derek. And he, and he called him Damon at first, yeah, too. So there was. Yeah, he did. Yeah, there was a couple of. Uh, but Derek and awesome. Derek and Megan were extremely nervous. Um, here was my theory I, I didn't get nervous. I didn't get nervous either night. I thought it was fine. The first night was 850 people. Mm-hmm. If half of those people hate me and the other half laugh it's still going to be fucking awesome right right the second night was 1150 people if even a quarter of those people like me it's still going to be fucking awesome so i walked into the green room i had two jameson and waters and i was like what the fuck are you guys doing and they were like they were like yeah studying their notes and shit like that i go you fucking nerds let's party (laughs) and they were just like what is wrong with you Uh, and i was like hey if there was 40 people out there I would be, be nervous. nervous as fuck. But I, I just, it's not. It's so much easier Dude, when it's a big the crowd. The more so people easier. in the crowd, the easier so much more it fun. is. It makes sense. Because if you can make half a crowd of 40 people laugh, 
Yeah. You're not guaranteed that those other 20 are going to laugh just because those 20 right, are. Right. But if you can make 30 or 40 people of 1,100 laugh, mm-hmm. yeah. they're all going to start laughing yeah, because was good. they want to feel uh, dude, like. I, I yeah. did very well. I got awesome. some big, big, huge pops, and it was, it was awesome. fun. It was really fun. So. so I guess the behind the scenes deal. So I guess like the Crown Uptown. <clears throat> yeah. The Crown Uptown put, it out, put out a post. And that post was, who are your favorite local comedians here in Wichita to open for? I didn't even know that I had been nominated for <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was actually kind of funny because... I nominated you. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess, guess who I get a text from Thank you, sir. Tuesday night when that post was Derek. 100%. Oh, tell all the listeners. Yeah. yeah. What so a dick. Funny. But then it was like... Fucking cheater. Uh, but, but here's the thing. <clears throat> Here's the thing that he already won twice. Exactly, he won twice. Asshole. But the thing that cracks me up the most is like he thought he missed it. He thought he really missed it because the yeah, first person, did. the first person that was announced was actually Steve, and then it was Megan. I mean, and of course it's gonna be Steve. Of course, right? Yeah. But I mean, then so duh. so I text Derek in the morning, and I'm just like. Hey man, so what's the good word? And he's just like, I didn't get it. And then, and you can just tell he's just so fucking pessimistic and shit. Yep. And it's just like, yep. God, he's a sad it. clown. Jeremy Joseph had it right. Yeah, but uh, but I'm glad he got it. And it, and it's kind of a really cool honor, especially for the fucking show. It was Is cool. it though? Yeah, two fucking. It's okay. Okay, two, so here's the other thing: stand up comedians on this show got to open for okay but Pauly you, Shore. Pauly Shore, but you just you just asked about Pauly Shore and how he was look at it this way what kind of fucking maniac is a headliner and goes to a city with sold out shows and doesn't have a feature yeah. or an MC. right there's a reason he's just like go grab <laughs> some fucking locos bro <laughs> and i'm like uh surely to god there's gonna be like a guy that's like hey you know we're in this city all the time i'm gonna do this much time no no nope. nope that's it it was his manager who was different on Friday from Saturday. Didn't even see the Saturday <laughs> manager. The Friday manager guy was cool as fuck. I actually liked that guy. But it was strange. Like it was it was it was it was very odd the way that it was put together and it was obviously put together by him. It just seemed He wants to keep all weird. the money, bro. I yeah, I uh he did put a lot of zeros in my paycheck. Well yeah. so. hey, that's good. That's awesome. Well, it was zero dollars. Oh, <laughs> so that was not the best part. So, oh, oh yeah, so I that, got paid nothing. That kind of weird. Got that's paid, weird. Got paid in what is it? Fucking, you get paid in exposure. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, exposure. Oh, fuck your exposure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, but yeah, it was fun, man. It was it was a cool show. It was a really really cool show. And his his biography thing, the Friday night, was actually pretty cool. It was really neat to watch. What? Uh, anything else you did at all? Well, is that pretty much it? I think that's pretty much it. Okay. I don't think I've done anything else. All right, that's fine. Ever in my life. That's fine. <laughs> well, now we get to move on to the headlines. We've got uh, some stuff that's happened over the last week that I Fuck, figured yeah. at least you sports fans would probably like. Uh, my favorite thing that happened over this last week um, <sighs> was I was really excited when I first heard it, but I guess USC head coach Lincoln Riley was killed by an illegal immigrant. Did you see that? What? Yeah. Yeah, oh, Lincoln and Riley. Yeah, you dipshit. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I can't stand Lincoln and Riley. And I saw all these posts on uh, uh, the next morning after the the uh, State of the Union speech. And I'm like, yes, he really got fucking. He's he's fucking okay. gone. He's fucking gone. No, it's just uh, the yeah. There was a mistake in identity, I guess. Uh, so there was that. Uh, but I wanted I wanted to talk to you guys about this so badly, especially you two. Uh, and especially you, Steve, because you like to do a lot of betting and stuff like that. Yes, I do. It was released that Mike Tyson will be fighting Jake Paul. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Okay, hold on, hold the fuck on. Mm-hmm. Let's be let's be real about this. Mike Tyson, bro, that's like me fighting Mike Tyson. Is fifty eight years old. Doesn't matter. So what? You don't <laughs> you don't remember. You don't forget that shit. You you Build have my that confidence. You have so that. Bad. You have that muscle memory in your fucking bone. Like you have to understand, he has been training his body to beat the fuck out of people his whole life. Yeah. I, I know. I, I mean, know. it's not that Ask doesn't, doesn't go away. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. You remember when, you remember, did you ever watch that documentary when they came out when he was in jail? And he was like, man, everybody in jail kept calling me a tree jumper. I thought that was cool because I was like an athlete and stuff. And then I found out a tree jumper, somebody just jumped out of the trees and raped people. <laughs> Yo, I'll never forget that. I was laughing my fucking ass off. I think I was like 15. Oh, Jesus But no, Christ. you don't, you don't forget how to pummel people into a fucking dust. I, I know. Because you're 58. Like that doesn't change. Obviously motherfuckers are broke these days and they need some money true like that's what's going on here. but i also think he, but i don't even think tyson's broke because he has his weed line and exactly else. Not it's only not that, i think but, jake paul uh, just wants money and more yeah so bullshit. tyson went broke and then hired a guy to basically control his money and i saw on a, a show i don't know what show even but he, Mike Tyson was talking about the guy that he hired. and what, I hate that motherfucker. He never gives me no money. Uh, he always says I'm, I don't oh, have no money. He must have money. hired my wife so, to run his fucking bills. Though. But he basically, I mean, he literally, look, you have to okay any money that I get because he went broke. And he's like, I'm never doing that again. I'm not smart enough <laughs> to, to keep my money. I've got to hire somebody to do it. So he's got a guy now that. That makes sense. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, but I did. I did. That was the one thing I was going to say, and I trailed off that I forgot about. What that I felt bad about on that first cold plunge, because uh, I made a joke about my wife getting a colonoscopy, and I was like, she won't let me stuff anything up her ass. But apparently, if you're a doctor, you can just do whatever the fuck you want to. <laughs> and I go, I think it's because they make more money than me. <laughs> that's what it is. I that's thought that would be a great joke, and then good. she had fucking cancer. <laughs> I'm like, wait. checkmate, motherfucker. You yeah. just won on that one, didn't you? Yep. Um, Sorry. But the main reason why I wanted to talk about this is because there's... You mind if I take that joke? No, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can just apply that to Damon or whoever. Whoever. <laughs> I guess the main reason... I'm trying to think of a dude's name. The main it's reason why I wanted to bring this up, though, was because there's a lot of people like me who, of course, are going to be rooting for Mike Tyson to tear the fucking head off you, of Jake Paul. <laughs> it's going to happen. Just rip it the fuck off. But... But it's just such, dude, it's just such a circus act yeah. at this point. It's it's not even. I know. Like, I would have Ugh. more fun with this if it was, um, if it was fucking, uh, the fucking Pikey, uh, uh, fucking the, the, the Irish dude. Oh, the like McGregor? Yeah, McGregor. Like, yeah. if it was Conor McGregor and Jake Paul, that would be a more fun fight for me to watch. I just feel like oh, that would no. be more. What, like like if, it's a, if it's a boxing match, if yeah, it's a it's, boxing it's, match. It's, I mean, it's obviously going to be a boxing, boxing match. But, but you, dude, you don't understand. I mean, like if this was Sugar Ray Leonard versus Mike Tyson, that would be more interesting because happened. they're both boxers. That actually happened. It happened I, a year ago. I, well, I know, but that's what I'm saying. But that's it was an more exhibition fight. This. this is fucking stupid. It was an exhibition fight, and it was like they gave him a draw, and it was like Mike Tyson beat the shit out of him. I don't understand anything. Yeah, that was weird, dude. So, that so, was really strange. Yeah, and so guy was awesome. this, I'm wondering if if Mike Tyson really is 58 years old uh, boxing, or I mean, I've seen him train recently, and it's like he's gonna kill him. He's going to fucking kill him. Whatever happened to Mike Tyson saying he wouldn't live till 60? I know. Isn't, isn't that what he said? He said he wouldn't live till 60 or he wouldn't live till 55, something well, like that? Well, he's got two years if you do math. Well, I know, but I mean, Jake I just, Paul's going to kill like, him. I feel like, what are you doing taking a fight if you don't even think you're going to live two more years? Well, you I know think what I mean? he was, at one point, he was walking around with a fucking cane, dude. Yeah. Like, and now he's back in shape. He's obviously serious. And he, and he did a couple of interviews and he's talking about it. And like, whenever he gets prepared like this, he becomes a fucking dude. Animal. It might, it might be something he needs. I think so. You too. know what I mean? Yeah, he I might agree. feed on that so much that yeah. he just needs that to ignite something to actually go forward in life. Yeah. Like that's, I mean, that's, uh, you know, people that retire and they lose their purpose and stuff like that. They just fucking decline. Yeah. You know? So I am, oh God, I'm rooting so hard for Mike Tyson. And I, know, I don't think you have to. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. Dude. There's no chance. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you have to. I, I, I think it's fine. Jake, there's no chance. There's no chance, Jake bro. Paul hits hard. It, it, he, he does, does not he does. He hit really hard does. enough. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean. He does not hit hard enough. Yeah, but I just, oh man. I just want to hear the post-fight interview. <laughs> He tried really hard when he was out there. <laughs> I give him all the props in the world for, for coming Dude, out. Dude, you know what the best fucking outcome of this fight would be? Mike Tyson bites off Jake Paul's ear. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fucking that amazing. That could happen. And that then, would be amazing. And then we have Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, too. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then uh, Jake Paul would fucking start making little grills that you could have in your kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was that? 
No, no, yeah, that, that, that was that yeah, was not George Foreman, right? Yeah, that was George Foreman. Was it George Foreman that got his ear bit off, or was no, that, it was Evander Holyfield? Evander Holyfield. 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 Shit. Yeah, that's okay. All right, sorry, it would have been a good joke though. <laughs> yeah, would it? Right. Anyways, uh, moving on. Obviously, the big, huge like news in sports right now is that it is uh, there's a lot of fucking people moving teams right now. <laughs> what if he came out with little cages on his ears? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah, Jake Paul doing that, that shit. would be dope. Little chastity uh, cages. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway. Awesome. Uh, sorry. Anyway. Sorry, man. No, there's a, just... obviously a lot of roster moves going on. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, hey. yeah. We are slowly. We are slowly dismantling our whole team 100 because we have some cap space to make up for mm-hmm. yeah that's uh that's i thought a- saquon barkley was gonna go to the bears motherfucker but i he, really did i he thought didn't. he was going to yeah I no, know, he didn't and, i know and, but there for a minute it was like it's gonna happen which is even crazier because he's actually going to like a division rival I team know, which I is know. even kind of funny here at least for me but the biggest <laughs> thing uh for denver bronco fans yeah you guys released russell wilson um, he then signs with Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh is paying a whopping $1.3 million for Russell Wilson to be a quarterback because the Denver <laughs> Bronx the is, is paying the rest. This is the dumbest shit ever. Oh, uh, my God. And that saved, in my opinion, that saved the Pittsburgh Steelers fucking season for next year because they legitimately have Kenny Pickett and nothing. nothing. That's nothing. Yeah. So this absolutely saves them. Possibly allowing Mike Tomlin to yet have another um, winning season, but it is Russell Wilson, so we will see what happens. Yeah, he'll there. be calling plays from the Seahawks still. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. God damn. Um, but then you also have Kirk Cousins going to the Atlanta Falcons, which mm-hmm. I I was kind of really surprised, and then I saw the size of that contract and oh, went, oh yeah, no, never they, mind. They paid him. Yeah, yeah sure did. For sure. Uh, They'll see. That's a mistake. Yeah. I think you're right. Um, but They'll see. Then you had the fucking running back, like, extravaganza. Every uh-huh. single, I mean, you have DeAndre Swift going to Chicago Bears. Yep. Hey, have, have fun which with I think that, is gonna, uh, Which yeah. I think is going to be really great. Really okay. great for everybody. <laughs> for really. everybody who's playing the Bears. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Um, but, I mean, he started with – he was a lion. He he started at the Lions. We uh, apparently didn't like him enough, so we just kind of gave him up. Um, So you have that. Just like his mom did. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. You have Josh Jacobs to Green Bay, which that, again, surprised the shit out of me when you have a young Aaron Jones just Mm -hmm. sitting there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then they ended up, I believe, releasing Aaron Jones. Uh, And up to this point, he has not signed yet. But Tony Pollard is going to the Titans, which then in point means that, well, that means Derrick Henry has to go (laughs) somewhere. Uh, Derrick Henry signs with the Ravens. Man, that's going to be God huge damn it. for them. That's crazy. That's I think out of all, everybody that I've seen going here and going, I think that is a huge get for them. Yeah. That is going to make them tough, man. One of the other teams I think is kind of sneaky, uh, sneaky good, is the Houston Texans. They yeah. were shit last year at the beginning yeah. of the season. Uh, and yeah, but they finished. On. Fuck yeah, they strong, finished strong, They man. made they the playoffs. really strong. They made the playoffs. Yeah. They look decent. And – they're picking up guys Dude. left and right too. Derrick Henry, they're the Ravens, though. Yeah, they should be unstoppable. They are I mean, be they good. should be unstoppable. We yeah. say that now, but, but we, we know what the Chiefs are yeah. scripted to win again. Yeah, like uh, the other one I had was Joe Mixon to the Texans. The one that shocked the shit out of me was Austin Eckler to the fucking Commanders. What? That's the a little strange. Fuck. Like, yeah, ugh, that's just gonna be bad. So, yeah, lots and lots of roster moves moving around. Uh, and the one team that's not really moving very much is mine, and that I'm okay with that. I think we picked up, like, a, a safety from Tampa Bay. You didn't need a whole lot. Uh, we need defense. Defense, yeah. defense, defense. It's, you need to fucking stop the ball. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a, a very, very fun-filled off season. I, I have a feeling. Uh, but anything else happened with you guys as far as sports related that you want to talk about? Because I'm done. I played some water sports. Did you? Oh, yeah. boy. Jerk off in the bathtub again? Yep. Good job. All right. Good nice job. Nice work. With your That's floaties? Fun. Oh, of course it's with okay. the floaties. Gotta, I don't want to drown for you, fuck's sake. You got to <laughs> have a floaties. <laughs> he uses the floaties as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice. Well, anyways, that is headlines for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show, and we have all the time in the world, guys, so feel free to have as much fun as you want. 
Uh, we got What Would You Do, which has come back. Um, I don't like the way he said that. <laughs> well, 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 what? Not extracurricular activities, but, you know, have we some have freedom. all the time. All have, right. have We're some, doing this. Have, have some, some freedom. Fun, man. Uh, but doing the, it. The, Let it all hang out. What Would You Do is back, and we're going to kick it off with the first one. This one comes in from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know. A Jeff pa- Friedman. Yeah. He wants to know, a parent has a screaming kid they can't keep mm-hmm. quiet right next to you on an airplane. What would you do? This is easy. Smack the fucking kid. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shut up. What mm-hmm. the fuck? I, I don't. Like one of those solid 50s moves. gangsters. Solid and shut up. Just throw the baby out the window. This is when you no, ask them. you cannot throw him out the window. You can. That's murder. Oh, on a Boeing plane, you can. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. Just that. wait. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait. The door will open. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's just make sure they're sitting by the door with no seat belt on. Exactly. 100%. So, yeah, just just let it get sucked right out the window. That's yep. what I'm, I'm just there waiting. You go. It's probably going to happen. <laughs> yep. Pretty um, easy deal there. Yeah. Um, that's another thing. That fucking guy from Boeing just magically. Yeah, dude. Come on. Give me a fucking break. That guy decided to put one in his dome just as. The, yeah, never mind. No. All no. right. That, that's. Uh, I, we don't know. I don't know that guy's name, but he didn't kill himself either. Him and Jeffrey Fuck Epstein no, are yeah. hanging out. Together. I didn't know that the Clintons had so much Boeing stock. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways. All right. Next one. Uh, next one comes in from Brian Scott. He wants to know. A bum fight breaks out in front of you. What would you do? Start taking bets. Boom. <laughs> Boom. 100%. The only correct answer. Like, who is getting this dollar twenty-five, Scruffy? <laughs> that is the yeah, only correct 100%. answer. Yeah. I'll go. Punch with him it. in his gang green. I was gonna I just was gonna say, watch. I'm not doing no, it. You start taking bets yeah, immediately. You yeah, you and you to. don't go in there and try to break up the oh, fight. God, I no. mean needles. I mean oh, the, who it, knows? I yeah. mean, whatever. No. Have you ever some, seen two yeah. bums fight? It's not a very good fight. No. I bet you it smells amazing. Oh, uh, it's pretty bad. They uh, crack open some scabs. Uh, they, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Leak no. some out. Yuck. That's disgusting. It's you know, good shit. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, next one. Uh, this one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know if the three of you... Braxton Lint uh, sounds like a very white person. Uh, it sounds like a chocolatier. <laughs> it does. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, uh, he does. Yeah. But, okay. Hey, Lint. hey, Braxton, I need some Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Yep. He wants to know if the three of you went camping and saw a bear on the campsite, what would you do? I'm I would tell him my- I'm only into twinks and to get the fuck out of uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we're camping in West Hollywood. Yay. I'm, I, uh, I'm taking my shoes off. Yeah? Yeah. What? That's the thing? I run faster with no shoes with no on. With no shoes? Okay. Yeah. So that's that's my thing. Uh, I, I just have to outrun them. And that's, okay. That's well, all it takes. here's what I would do. I would pull out the large gun that I brought <laughs> with me since I fucking go camping prepared and dispatch said bear <laughs> and turn it into a cool fucking sleeping bag <laughs> and then make its meat into bear jerky. Yeah. That and make its little bear fun. cubs watch. <laughs> oh, wow. man. Poor bear cubs. Poor yo. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. Poor Yogi. Uh, fucking, uh, what is it? Daniel Eaches says that Smokey is a fucking psycho bear because he's wearing a ranger's outfit, but where's the ranger? Right. Basically, he's hinting yeah. that he killed the ranger and he then did. put on his clothes. It's like the BTK of bears. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Let's see. Next one comes in from Connor Nezerka, I believe is how you pronounce it. He wants to know. Your buddy set you up on a date and lied about who the person was and how attractive they are. Ooh. What would you do? He's talking about a fat chick. <laughs> I would. I would That's probably. What he's, talking. he's talking about a fat chick. I'd, Here's the deal: yeah. they're gonna blow you at the end of the day, <laughs> like a hundred percent. You just buy them a cake or whatever. <laughs> You're then gonna stick you're your gonna dick spend a little in, more. Then stick your dick yeah. in said cake. Yeah. No, you're gonna spend a little more. You know she's gonna want to eat for sure, <laughs> oh, and God. then she's gonna want some dessert. And she's not having and a then salad. She's gonna be like, "Ooh, I couldn't have another bite." And it's like you're having all of the bites. <laughs> uh, and then you buy her a couple drinks, and you get that fucking ride home blowjob that she swallows. She always swallows. Uh, she's yeah. hungry. 
<laughs> and then that's how it goes. And then it's just like, dude, you were a fucking piece of shit. I can't believe you hooked me up with that chick. We are going out again Saturday. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. And they always have huge titties, too. Cheapest Lizzo's the only ever. fat chick without huge titties. Oh, God. Did Very you, unattractive. Did you see her dress at the Oscars? No, I don't watch the fucking Oscars, I, you well, weirdo. The only reason why is because I get a whole bunch of hate Lizzo shit on my Twitter feed, which was fucking hilarious because it had it, it was like this big ass blue dress. Yeah. And it said, look at what Lizzo's wearing. It looks like it covered Wrigley, Wrigley Field a couple days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a fucking tarp. <laughs> well, these things happen. That might have been what it was. It probably was. Uh, but yeah, dude, I don't know. Uh, it, it, I. Hmm. I've never been I've never been set up and and had a bad experience, you know, especially if it's just somebody that's just not attractive and I just can't I know. was going to say I don't think I've ever like just dissed a blind date or whatever. Like I've always just like come away with at least a friendship. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Like if nothing else, exactly. it was just fun to hang out and meet somebody new. Unless they, unless they come in and start barking orders at you and like expect <laughs> you to do all kinds. No, and it's like, all right, check please. But, other yeah, than but that, there's nothing to lose. Like you can be a total dick back. It's fine. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. You can do it's, that. It's that the easiest sense. situation on planet earth. It doesn't have to be nerve wracking. How about you JP? What would you do? I would. Oh boy! Be really nice to her. Okay. Get my blowjob, mm -hmm. and, then and then ask like, her okay. to send me a bunch of nude pics, <laughs> and then I would forward them to my friend <laughs> uh, who nice. set me up with her. That's Perfect. Pretty good. That is That's good. That's good. a good way to get that back. That is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, last one uh, comes in from Jesse Petal. He wants to know: an old lady cuts in front of you at the grocery store with a cart full of stuff and coupons. What would you do? Try to get her fucking old ass out of the way. Oh man. I uh, I get angry when people do that shit. I really do. That's like uh, one of my things that they they have absolutely no re like. People don't. They don't know anybody else is in the world. Sit there and talk shit the whole time. Be like, oh, I guess I wasn't fucking standing here. Yeah, you saw me standing yeah. here. Like, what what are you doing? You know? Oh yeah, it would, it would drive See me if fucking nuts. She will nuts. buy your groceries by I, the end of it. Maybe it was your blind date. That's what I would do. I would just throw my shit in her cart with all go. of her shit. There you and go. Be like, eh, yeah, yeah. Follow her home, murder her, and take the groceries. That's <laughs> oh, I mean, shit. it's what anybody would do. So. Oh man, that's a little rough, don't you think? No, it's fine. Uh, it's, this happens every day. Ah, yeah, come on. Uh, all right. Well, that is the, what would you do? Uh, now we get to move on to JP's favorite part. Yeah, that's where we draw the line. A lot of really good suggestions this week, guys. Appreciate it for Monday Fun Day. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, first one comes in from Dalton Hate him. Allen. Hate him. Two first names. Yep. Man. Don't like it. God, it's just that. Don't like it. So mean. Uh, but Dalton wants to know. I like Dalton. I know. He seems like a nice cat. Yeah, I really like Probably Dalton. a nice dude. Well, I haven't I read the question yet, so wait, let's see what's well, going on. We'll see what happens. What's the minimum amount of time to be with someone before you tell them that you love them? Oh, still Dalton like can him. go fuck himself right now. <laughs> still what like asshole. Him? Still like Dalton, dude. How have you not blocked this guy from posting yeah. on the fucking page? Let alone use his suggestion. Wow. What the fuck's what wrong with you? Dick. Because I figured that this would infuriate both of you, so that's why uh, I picked it. <laughs> the minimum Six amount years. of time to be with someone before you tell them you love them. Six years. You tell them you love them right away so that they will let you, Blow you. fuck them. <laughs> that's true. That is true. That has happened. I have done that before. That is true. Uh, and then they actually kind of looked at me I've never said this so soon weird. before, but I think I might be in love with you. Yeah, that's a good one. That's true. <laughs> That's, oh, very, true. No. That's I guess, very true. I guess I'm the only one giving you a real answer. Uh, and I I think it's a bare minimum of six months. Six months. Dude, lesbians, the first thing they do is tell each other yep. they love each I other. Know. At the bar. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. ridiculous to me. Do you Dude, want to go on a date? I read something. I do. I love you. I love you too. I read something the other together. day that said that the highest incidents of domestic violence are in lesbian homes oh what? they're very yes like in in the united states of america the highest incidence of like like the the most you know domestic violence per capita or whatever oh, is yeah. in lesbian homes oh yeah yeah oh it's, yeah it is the what? worst they're and mean yes <laughs> uh yeah lesbian on lesbian violence is a thing yeah well, i mean yeah. i guess it kind of does make sense i'm the man no i'm the man you ever just had, scissoring you, each other extra yeah. hard extra that night. hard yeah you ever, you ever had two chicks work with Bruising each other that the don't vagina. like each other yeah that's it's true fucking that is bad true. yeah it's bad and yeah. when you're in a when you're in a relationship with something that means that like that can get 
like really out of hand. Do you know yeah. how angry you would have to be if you had a vagina and you liked vaginas? <laughs> I couldn't imagine. That's true. I could yeah. not imagine the the angriness and yep. the fucking hurt yep. and oh, betrayal. The, the anger. Yeah. yeah the anger yeah. is strong. Well, then you just go down on them and it's like you're blowing bubbles. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. It's, it's, yeah. it's not good. Not good not at good. all. That's gross. Not good. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, all right. Well, next one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know how old is too old to start a family? Well, Al Pacino, or Al Pacino is 79 years old and just had a baby like a year ago. Or That's your right? cutoff? That's where you're drawing 79. the line? Here's the deal. Here, it depends on how much money you have. Very true. Fucking Elon Musk's father is still making babies right now. That's because they got good genes. No, it's because he has billions of dollars. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> Ask your 79-year-old grandpa to go out and find a supermodel to have a baby with. He, he died. Right. He died. I can't okay. Remember. Well, before he died, you should ask him this. Like, <laughs> yeah. Get a you Ouija, missed your opportunity Get a Ouija here. board and ask your fucking grandpa if he could go find a 29-year-old right. model to fuck and have kids with. It all depends on the money. Mm -hmm. 110%. She knows she's going to be set for the rest of it. Pull up a picture of Al Pacino's baby's mama. She's hot as fuck, dude. And she's 24. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if he does that when he comes. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, dude. And then it's just like a puff of smoke that comes out and one oh, little yeah. teardrop of cum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Must have been enough. It had to have That's been awesome. in vitro. There's no way. I don't think so. I think he's just pounding it out, dude. Oh, good for She's him. pretty fucking hot. I mean, she'd get an old man hard, well, for sure. Well, for sure. But, I mean, god damn. I mean, I could get an old man hard. <laughs> that is true. 79 He'd 79 be all fucking old? dementia mode. And he'd be like, why is this guy blowing me? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's okay. It's not bad. <laughs> That's he's not like, bad. I'm woke. Yeah, uh, no, uh, it, it's... Uh, if I close my eyes. <laughs> exactly. I guess uh, I'm going to go, at least with me... I would say 40. You need to probably like, uh, cut it off. Yeah. But if, if in these other instances where people are insanely fucking rich and it's like going to end up being generational wealth because you fucked the right guy, yeah. whatever, yeah. you know, get after it. But... That'd be weird as fuck for the kid, man. He he got born when his dad was seventy nine years old. His dad was Al Pacino, you know? and he'll never have to work a like day Al in his Pacino's life. Who gonna, cares? Al Pacino's going to take his kid to the little league game and just shit all over the place the whole time he's there. <laughs> I don't fine. think that's good, man. That kid's going to be loaded. He Dude, is. Parent teacher conferences would be a fucking wild. That would be something. wild. Be yeah. fucking lit. That'd be great. Uh, all right. Uh, next one comes in from Chris Cravens. He wants to know how many times will you reject a phone call before you answer it all pissed off and snap at the person who kept calling you three in a row, Ed? three in a row. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm fucking X and out number one, X and out number two, getting a little more pissed off. And then the third one in a row. No, you're that's three strikes and you're out. Motherfucker. You're going to get an earful. After yeah, that, for sure. Yeah, that's a perfect 100%. answer. One hundred percent. That is a a one hundred percent perfect answer. And I I actually think it's kind of fun because I uh, I updated my phone. I am always not available on my yeah. personal phone. Nice. There's only my closest friends who can call me and get a, get a hold of me, and that would be JP and oh. you, Steve. <laughs> that makes me feel well, all mushy inside. Yeah. Or anybody that am I supposed to have a phone? <laughs> helps with the podcast. <laughs> But no, I I turned that off. So, with, but that also means that the people who I don't like when they try to call me, guess what? Bang! Yeah. It, it immediately hangs up. So they will call me three times in a row. I'll turn that bitch off and call them back and say, "Hey, blocked, I'm not available. What part of that don't you under fucking stand?" And then hang up on them. And yeah, that's that. It so was yeah. your grandma. She was yeah. on her deathbed. She was just trying died. to call you one last time. Right. My, my grandmother can call me whenever the fuck she wants. And I'll answer the phone. She's blocked. Yes. <laughs> I, have a I, don't blocked even ever, I don't even see it. <laughs> Next one comes in from Ryan Sims. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? Mm. How many times can you fail your driving test before you decide that driving just isn't for you? <laughs> I would say four times. Four times? I think that's enough. Jesus Christ, I just think man. that's enough. You know, how do you, f okay. How do you fail a driving test? I guess. Okay. Maybe I was raised. Maybe you're Asian. I failed maybe, the, the very maybe. first driving test I ever took. I failed it because I ran a red light, but it was because it was fucking yellow, bro. My dad taught me to 
go like get, <laughs> like i don't want to be that asshole that stops for the yellow light yeah you know slams on the brakes yeah. for the yellow light or the fucking asshole that doesn't get out in the middle of the intersection so, so you can't turn yeah, so and the motherfucker has to dude i hate that shit i, I do too. i fucking it, hate that i hate shit. it too so i just tried to drive like i would really drive and they were like no come back again tomorrow you fucking idiot I, and so i had to try it the second time and i got it yeah i i passed i i didn't have those kind of issues i i don't know I don't know if I'm a good driver necessarily. I'm an aggressive driver, yeah. but but driving was never hard. Most most little guys with big trucks are very aggressive drivers. Oh, that is true. This is true. This is, is true. It's my Napoleon complex kicking yeah. in. It is. Um, but yeah, I I, I would was, I would say I would say three strikes and you're I'd out. I'd say three too. Three yeah, strikes yeah. and you're out. If yeah. you can't get it, you imagine how many women would not be out on the roads. No, it would not be it, nice. It would, it would be so amazing. People would be using turn signals and shit. Oh my god, it would be great. It would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Lesbians would just have to stay home. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, come on. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. And last one. Uh huh. It comes in from Ian Hotter. Okay. He wants to know at what point is winter over for you and spring has begun. <sighs> I fucking hate winter, dude. It's the worst season of all the seasons, and I try and get it over as soon as possible. Like, when it reaches, like, 65 degrees and I can just wear shorts, because mm -hmm. I know it's going to go back to, like, 40 a couple days here and there and shit like that, but it's just over for me at that point. I'm not observing it anymore. The culmination you know? of the snowboard trip is when spring starts for me. Yeah, I yeah. say yeah. April 1st. Yeah. April 1st? Okay, yeah. I mean that's that's pretty good. I would, yeah, I'd say March mid, is usually pretty still cold most of the time here. You know what I mean? But I like, say April. Okay, okay, that's my fucking line. That's where I fucking that draw it. Pretty good answer. I'm gonna say spring break. Okay, spring there break is right now, which is right now. Yeah, yep. I think that's uh, You're that's, a couple weeks early, but that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Yep. That's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, but thank you guys very much for participating in That's Where I Draw the Line. I appreciate that. Now we get to move on. God damn, we are humming through this bitch. Oh, we are humming, baby. I am baby. so excited about that. I'm going to go eat dinner Me before too. 10 p.m. Yeah, we're humming, baby. Okay, I love fine. hummers. So great. So I great. love hummers. Mostly giving them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's okay. good for you. I've never done that, but All right. thank uh, you for your service. If you if you ever need any advice uh -huh. or need uh -huh. a tip or two, okay. let me know. I'm sure you have all the tips. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you. Well, we're, we're gonna need a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right. Okay. Uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Yay. Oh, who's the I've got a bonus one for me and Steve at the end Yay. of this whole video. Uh, but we are obviously going to kick this bitch off with Travis Cagle. What a clown. Travis Cagle. Travis Cagle. Uh, isn't, he, isn't he adorable? Oh, I, I just want to I just want to pick him up and eat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> no, he is the I, I told that little well, anyway, let's go ahead. Let's try. Let's see what we Travis got. Travis Cagle wants to know how do you handle the rejection of not opening for Polly Shore? I think the only way to get over it is to sleep with your best friend named JP. <laughs> I really believe that. Here's the deal. I wouldn't know how to answer this question because I've never been rejected <laughs> by Polly Shore. Oh, uh, fuck. Twice. You I did. Open. In my defense, I did offer to put him in a baby carrier and carry him around on my back nice. on stage <laughs> the whole time. A baby Bjorn. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we were just not going to say anything about it or even acknowledge that it was going on. Dude, that would have been hot. And I think that would have been the greatest fucking stand up <laughs> act on planet Earth. Did you I see agree. his fucking his, his New York Times bestseller book? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was great. That, funny. that was fucking that was awesome. Funny. The boy who cried weasel. Yeah. I shared I, sh I shared it today on our on our podcast yeah, was good i talk. will Hilarious. say the lady that runs the the theater that this show was at she was like i absolutely love how travis interacted on these posts and stuff like that she said i am 100 percent going to use him next time that's awesome yeah it's probably going to be like carrot top or something yeah. but still, <laughs> yeah. it'll be roseanne it'll bar be, yeah, it'll be fucking badass dude he'll he's <laughs> he is a shoe in for everything going forward <laughs> Uh shit. Well, that's awesome. Hope Travis is, is getting over it. Somehow. Next time there's a comedian here that doesn't want to share his money and <laughs> wants to make sure he's the funniest person on stage, we're going to use Travis. That's oh, right. fuck yeah. It's awesome. Oh, uh, shit. 
<laughs> Anyways, uh, next question comes in from Donnie Thompson Jr. Mm-hmm. He wants to know rejected all electric vehicle brand names. Jesus, Ooh. that's a mouthful. Fuck the meltdown. You know what? That's a stupid be. fucking question. <laughs> Why? I don't like it. I didn't even look at rejected it. So all electric loaded vehicle up. brand names. Yeah, like mm. okay, you got Tesla, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So what? Uh, uh, what Exxon 2.0? <laughs> oh, okay. Exxon revisited the hot wire. You know? the hot wire, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like in, yeah. I, I like uh, that one. I I think uh, like I'm gonna name it Watt. Yeah. Watt. W a t t. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, what? 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 <laughs> I wish you could say what? Watt a few more times. What? Yeah. You can get, we all you got the wheezy. joke to it's begin catchy. with. You get wheezy to be the spokesman. That is. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think. What are you looking. driving? What? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with a pimp cup in the fucking cup holder already. <laughs> the wheezy edition. <laughs> the wheezy edition. Yep, yeah, man. I love it. I love it. And I'd make a model called the Delusion because electric cars suck. Well, no, they they really I, they, they really, really suck. Do. They're not very cool. Yeah, they're way more expensive. They than are cool when they're too. all charged up and you can just run around LA yeah. in them. I, yeah. I had a rental Tesla one time from Hertz yeah. Rental Car, and it was actually pretty badass. Like they're fast. They're like they do sure. kind of some cool shit. But if you're not in a really big metropolitan area like that, yeah. where you're just kind of here, and there, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. 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 I, if you got to go any distance, yeah. Like, it's going to take you three days to drive, you know, like a, a trip, an eight-hour, ten-hour trip. Yeah. I, I did the math. It would, it would, uh, so it took me from here to Angel Fire, New Mexico, it took me eight hours mm-hmm. uh, in a regular vehicle. If I would have taken an electric vehicle, it would have taken me two and a half days. Yeah, because, that's about right. And, that, and that's being very, very gracious well, you with the charging time. You can't charge those to 100% either. No, 85. So otherwise, it'll fuck up the battery. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's, it's. It's bad. All right. Yikes. Anyways. Oh, and the cyber truck, I guess, is like a fucking. It's a beast. Oh, dude. It's but it only badass. goes like 100 miles or something, and then you're just toast. Oh, I believe that. it. Yeah. Uh, next one comes in from. It's S- that. It might even go that much. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, Steven Moat. He wants to know. <laughs> Sounds like he has a good name. He does. It's not two first names. That's mm-hmm. for sure. He wants to know, if Disney World had a strip club, what would it be called? Ooh, Ooh, Nikki's titties. <laughs> oh no, Minnie's house. Uh, Minnie's yeah. house. There yeah. we go. That's yep. good. Donald ducking it. <laughs> yes, I like it. Yeah, I like that. The happiest stage on earth is yeah, what I put. Yeah, the uh-huh. happiest stage on yeah. earth. That's good. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, it's a small, small world. <laughs> it's a small <laughs> world after all. <laughs> oh God, that's good. Geppetto's ho house. <laughs> That, isn't that one of Geppetto's hoes? <laughs> uh, huh. uh, Mufasa's wow. pride. Yeah, that's I love for the, it. that's for the gay guys. That's the that's, let's get that. Oh, I love that. There you see, there Walt's yeah, secret yeah. show. Yeah, <laughs> Walt's Disney. Yeah. Okay. Next one uh, comes in from Tyler Plack again, or Placky again. He wants to know: Is it really a gambling addiction if you aren't losing money? What do you money? mean again? Did he have a question earlier? I think he did. Oh, maybe he did. No, he, he does did. a lot though. He does do a lot. Oh. Yeah. But Tyler does want to know if it, if if you're if you're not losing at gambling, is it is it really an addiction if you just keep absolutely on winning? Absolutely not. It's a fucking job. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's a yeah. it's a well paid hobby or a job if you're not losing at gambling. And Steve yeah. is keep and on no, trying to and convince no fucking his wife gambler is actually losing at gambling. We're all breaking even. We just win a lot. Yeah. You know? All I do is win. Yeah. What do you sure. think, JP? Yeah, no. So you can win and win and win and win a lot. Dude. But it, it just takes that one big fucking loss that turns your life. No, that's you why you had? just got to do a bunch of little losses. Oh, little yeah. losses. You know? You can control your little ones and your big ones? If your wife is still happy and you're bringing money home, it is not a gambling addiction okay. at all. Okay. And it's Look, not, I'm addic- it's not I'm pimping addicted, Yeah, I'm addicted to a lot of things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like and what? Cock. <laughs> Uh-oh. And? Marijuana. Yeah. Okay. Those are not bowling. <laughs> those are not positive ROI. Bowling's okay. And uh, I'm addicted to gambling. Yeah, okay. you are. I am. I gamble on anything. <laughs> you nice. and Steve both. I gambled on getting in the car and coming here today. <laughs> I love you? it. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Did you win the bet? I'm not sure yet. That one's almost as ridiculous as Steve Peters betting on chess. 
Well, <laughs> sometimes you just got to. <laughs> oh, man, did fine. you see the uh, professional it's ping pong? Uh, the professional ping pong league. Oh, it's in Australia. Come, no, and they have one here. in China. Oh, they're no shit. Be, yeah, they're going to be here next week. Oh, we'll be able to bet on that, too. Fuck yeah, we Ping will. pong is fun to bet on because those oh, are yeah. quick. It's just like boom, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. boom, boom. Jesus Christ. Ping pong is a blast you to bet on. You guys are fucking ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um,. Next one is, comes in from Ninja Fighter 1128. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't fight ninjas. <laughs> you never know. He, dude, his na- his real name is not revealed because yeah. I can hover over the name and mm-hmm. it still says Ninja Fighter. That's oh, his name. It it's could. Tyler Plackey. <laughs> it is. It's, uh, shit. Uh, shit. I, I really do like this question, though. He wants to know. I like it, too. Would you rather be a part of the Jackass crew or the Impractical Jokers crew? <sighs> I feel like the Jackass crew has like way more street cred. The the Impractical Jokers crew to me is kind of corny. Okay. You know, it's kind of dorky. But I don't want to fucking like taser my nuts right. either. Or you know what I mean? So f- I mean, yeah, just, like yeah. that's a fucking tough one, man. Like that really that should have been like this shitty situation or something because that really is like what do you do there? You um, know what I mean? Like. I don't want to stick a toy car up my ass and go get a fucking x-ray. You know what I mean? (laughs) That's a a Tuesday for JP, but most people. The x-ray isn't the worst part. (laughs) I know what you're thinking, but the x-ray isn't the worst part. (laughs) But just, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, that would be, uh, yeah, shit, I don't know, man. I think I have to go with Impractical Jokers. Me too. Because I like fucking with people and stuff. Like, that would be kind of fun. Yeah. I don't, but I don't. Jackass is way better. I don't know if you guys like <clears throat> know this about me, but I am a I, douche. Yeah, we well, know. I know. I know that. <laughs> we already know. But the worst thing for me is awkward humor. That yeah, that I be, I don't I, I fucking that. hate that so much. It makes so, me so yeah. uncomfortable. Which yeah. is pretty much impractical jokes oh, yeah, from the start. It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to try and keep a straight yeah. face. Yeah. And, yeah. So then you would think I like, like that shit though. Like I I enjoy that. Challenge. I know. I know. And and I I fucking hate it. But. The other maybe thing when is, the impractical jokers come next time, you can open for them. Maybe <laughs> it'll be down to me and Travis Cagle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the other thing is, is if you realize that the the new Jackass movie came out not too long ago, uh-huh. and they got a bunch of new guys, yeah, that they were putting through the ringer, yeah, yeah. and one of them got their fucking hand bitten off by a fucking shark. That yeah. happens. That, that sounds happens. like a good time. I mean, that but happens. but then again, like, dude, you have a cool fucking story. Yeah, you do. If you get and slapped by a Karen in a fucking grocery store because oh. you put a carrot in her purse, right? That's dumb. That's a dumb story. You know what I mean? But yeah, dude, like, I, I got my fucking hand bitten off by a shark on yeah. Jackass Two. Watch it in the movies. No. Yeah. That's pretty badass, man. I agree. There's a good fucking argument for both. It's like that one little trans dude that got his. Hand ate by the tiger and Joe Dirt. Mulvaney. Yeah, no. Oh, oh. In, uh, uh, in, uh, <laughs> Tiger King. Tiger King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. I, 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 uh, Was yeah. that Dylan Mulvaney? It might have been. I think so. It could have been. Could've yeah. Been. yeah. That's now that you mention it, that's where all the free butt like. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. Oh, that's that's the only trans dude I know is Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> I don't know of any other. Well, I guess fucking uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, I do yeah. have some Caitlyn Jenner jokes. Um, so. But I guess I guess to wrap this up, I, I'm still going to go with the Jackass crew. I can't okay. do the impractical joke. Got you. Uh, and last question. Let's uh, do this. Comes in from Jesse Petal. He Fuck wants to yeah. know. Worst things for your spouse to bring home unannounced. Dude, if Jesse Pedal has fans, are they pedal files? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right. I think okay. I'm gonna make the shirts. I like it. <laughs> okay. All right. So what's the worst thing for your spouse to bring home unannounced? Uh puppies. What? Dude, puppies. It no. sucks. I would love puppies. <sighs> a jackass. Not when you already have two dogs and two Dude, cats. There's only one good answer here. Oh, black guys. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Shit. That would be that's a little terrifying. It. That would that's be a little it. terrifying. That's not After it. After a night out, she's like, hey, I'm herpes. get rammed by this <laughs> giant wiener. Herpes. <laughs> the answer is herpes. Herpes would suck, too. Mm-hmm. That would suck. But if you already have them, it's not that big of a deal. Uh that's true. <laughs> that's so I mean, by the like the third time you get them, it's that's fine. true. It's fine. The, you make a good point. The in-laws. Yeah. That. Oh yeah. Fuck that's good. me, yeah. man. 
Yeah, my father in law is black though, so I go back to the yeah. That's that's, that's yep. good. Yeah, it all works still. It's my fine. God, uh, the other thing I was thinking of is like whenever you ever come home from work and you're the first one home, and there's like a stack of. Amazon Prime boxes. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. All the time. All the fucking time. It's like, Constantly. Great, honey, carried in like all your shit. Like, you can't get through the front door because there's bullshit everywhere and yes. you have to kick it out of the way. Absolutely. Yep. It's I fucking ridiculous. Yep, that's true. Oh, that's true. boy. Well, I do have one more question that I thought of, and it's mainly for, well, you can chime in with this, too. Okay. Uh, but Steve, oh. Steve and I are Can both. Can I? Where yeah. is it? I don't see this on the That's because it's there. not on there. Yeah, I've not prepared. Um, so. But because no, Steve. As opposed to the rest I, of the I, questions. I didn't prepare. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Steve and I are the ones that are married on this show. Mm-hmm. And so my question is. Why can't JP be married? You don't observe that? Eh. Because we're in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> and even though the government says it's okay, <laughs> we're still in well, Kansas. At least, at least we can abort those gay babies. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God well, you right. can't in Texas. <laughs> no. You got to keep them and raise them until they're JP size. <laughs> yeah. And God. nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. But anyways, the question is, what do you think the very first step towards divorce is? Like, what's that oh. moment when you start, you do something that eventually leads to divorce? <laughs> what's the first step? I, th- I think a lot of it is financial. You think so? I do. Well, and I mean, I think if, you're, if, you, if your wife comes home and she's like, hey, I've been fucking this guy at work for two months. <laughs> I feel like we're getting closer. <laughs> you know that's a I mean? good indicator. That's a, um, that's very, a very good indicator. Violent I think, shove. I, here's the deal. I think it's when you completely lose faith in your partner and you can't stand to be around them anymore. <laughs> it's like, yeah. why are you fucking breathing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why don't and you then, just and then, stop? But, but then that's a two-way street. Because if you don't want to fix anything that's already... This is if you're married. If it's your girlfriend, just kick her fucking dumb ass out, throw her clothes out, and just yeah. go down the road. Yeah. But if you're married, it's going to cost too much to do that. I promise. They're going to take half your shit. 100%. So at least make the effort. You like at one point you loved this chick, and then some dude is listening to this like I fucked her once and got her pregnant. I hated this bitch yeah, from I never day one. Her. <laughs> All right, you're the exception, dude. But yeah. other than that, most people were dating for two years and then they got married, and then it just fucking fell off because life happens, and life is far too hectic and too crazy to fucking have to worry about another person so you become selfish and mm-hmm. you start thinking about yourself and you're not thinking about your spouse and then she resents you or you resent her and back and forth and then you just fucking hate each other after a while and you want to fucking go and then you need to do something like go on a cruise with other fat people or whatever the <laughs> fuck it is where you can just eat as much as you want and drink as much as you want and go on down the road and go to a fucking counselor and just see if you can salvage it so you can at least say you tried everything before you just kicked her ass out and then you have to jump back in the dating pool, which is fucking stupid, especially after you've been married for a while. Yeah. That would be my answer. I, uh, <clears throat> I actually, th- I had a hard long, like thought process with this. I, every single time I me, my, me and my wife go into like different rooms or whatever, or, or if I, ha- if I hang up with her on the phone, uh-huh. I always tell her I love her. Okay. When and that- then she's like, fuck off. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She gets mad if I don't. Um, really yeah fuck off that's weird yeah man you would think she'd be smarter than she is but she's not i know she thank God. <laughs> she's with me she's a very yeah. very sweet lady. she, she is. is she's, she is. I like she's amazing i like her too but yeah uh but no I, I definitely said what steve said which would be um you know whenever she says i just i think I'm you i, I really do i think you fall into a just a, a rut yeah. yep of that's where you just say. where you just start to hate each Every other relationship and it just I, festers yep. man it yep. just it just yep. gets worse it doesn't get any better because neither of you want to work on yourself or each growing. other and you just make yeah. it worse it's when you as a person stop growing yep and then the person is with you all the time so do you work you 60 blame? hours a fucking week right. and then you come home to yeah. get fucking yelled at fuck yeah. this bitch right you know what i mean yeah. like seriously it's True. like I, I, I yeah you can't stand that everybody's human that you know a what great i mean question scotty yeah man it's pretty good i figured out be a fun one but well, anyway. that's a good one all is right that, is that why you asked me about that divorce lawyer <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just know it's coming eventually. Yeah, oh, yeah. he wants to get sure. on the. Ball I gotta shit. get prepared for sure. Shit, but anyways, Probably guys, we had a Doctor Phil moment on this fucking show. <laughs> That's what everybody comes here for. Absolutely. 
Uh, but guys, thank you very much for participating in Munt Day Fun Day. Check out okay. every Monday. Um, I put the post out and any suggestions you guys have, if we like them, we'll put them on the show and give you a shout out. So thank you for those of you who did participate. And if I didn't pick your question, don't fucking feel bad. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Ooh. but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single laughing on the sidelines podcast episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Whoa. draft. Let's take yeah. that down just a, just a hair. No, I, I, did I get a little bit excited? Ooh. It's, yeah, it's your favorite part. I know. Yeah. I'm excited about this part because we get to have a really fun draft this week. Last week was really fucking hilarious. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the uh, rejected Go-Go Gadget uh, I, contraptions. It was good. That was fucking awesome. Um, and I lost. Uh, but that's okay because they're not here. So yeah, I kind of both of them. I kind of get a win on the technicality. Uh, but the episode, the last episode JP was on, he won the draft. So I think it only fair to give you credit for that win. Thank you. And so this week you get the championship picks. I get the sandwich picks. And Steve hasn't been here for a while, and so he gets the first overall pick. And, guys, this week's draft is going to be one I've been wanting to do for a really long time, but Derek's a real big negative Nancy, and he just keeps on shooting it down. But that is our favorite Adam Sandler movies. Okay? Doesn't, he doesn't have to star in it. He can just be in it. But your favorite ones, not the best ones, your favorite ones. Very good. Steve, you get your first pick, dude. My first pick? Yes. This isn't even funny. Oh, no. One of my favorite Adam Sandler movies because I'm a gambler and I did not expect the fucking ending and it actually like shot through me to where I went, oh, oh, fuck. Like it literally genuinely fucked me up. Yep. Uncut gems. Yeah, yep. 100%. And, dude. and let me say, that was a fucking awesome movie. It was an amazing was fucking movie, movie, and nothing that I expected Adam Sandler to be in. He's uh, a yeah. phenomenal yeah. fucking like the range that he has yeah. to do that with all the dumb shit that he does. That was impressive as fuck. Like I've that had, was uh, awesome. I've had my share cool. of uncut gems. Oh, me too. If you know what I mean. No, yeah, I know. It's well, okay. We're not talking about penises. <laughs> I was talking I'm about always, the gamblingness. I'm always talking. I was, about I was talking about parlays that didn't work. Didn't come through. Exactly. Okay, so here's the deal. I have two that I really want, and I think but either one would be a 101. It'd be it'd be definitely a top pick. But I'm a golfer, and I golf a lot. Oh fuck you! I and was, if I was anybody anybody who golfs, there are more lines from Happy Gilmore that get said during a game of, of golf. Course. So I have to go with Happy Gilmore. Yeah, as my I agree. Pick. I agree with that. Very That's good. a good one. That's now good JP one. JP gets two in a row. What an asshole. I'm going to go with the cobbler. No, you fucking yeah. Oh, fuck. my. Oh, God. So basically. And Jack and Jill. Oh, my. That's so terrible. What an asshole. Those are the worst ones. I'm going worst. He's he's doing the worst. Yeah. So basically, we get a free we get a free space. When Is do that, I get to do two in a row? Uh, it's almost coming. It's <laughs> mine. <laughs> yeah. He's really excited about it. He he's is. one of my favorite actors on the planet. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, for well, sure. good. Good. Uh, because I'm just because he's such a good dude, man. He brings a lot of happiness to a lot. Oh, of people. he really does. The whole reason I wanted to do comedy was just to like make people laugh and make them happy. Like he does that. He's I know. The, he's the goat. I get it. Uh, but. My other 101, because JP definitely didn't take the other one I was thinking of, is the one that I've quoted probably my entire life over and over and over again, and that is Billy Madison. Mm, you mm. fucking dick. Yeah. Jack Nicholson now or 1974. Yeah. That was awesome, dude. I <laughs> loved that movie. 74. What are you looking at, Penguin? <laughs> no, Swan. Oh, yeah. Stop looking at me, yeah. Swan. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, Steve. You get two in a row, dude. All right, I am going to go with Big Daddy. Damn it, that was the one I was hoping. Would I come love back. Big Daddy. It's so good. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep it like legit. Yeah. Like I said, I know that he made me laugh and shit like that. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Big Daddy and Longest Yard. Okay, that's a good one. That is because it's a good. sports podcast. Yeah. Well, I mean, but my know. next one I think is going to be goofy. 
All right, so I have Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison. Do you get two now or one? No, I just get one. Oh, I, I just up. I just get one. Okay. Um, Everybody's waiting. That's okay. I'm Hurry also going to go with a great football movie. Okay, and, um, that was my next one too. You yeah, fucking dick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dabba, okay. what a boy. Okay. Let's fuck off. Fuck yes. Okay. Okay. Spear somebody. Fuck yeah. Okay, I yep. think it's JP's turn. JP gets two in a row. I'm going to oh. go with uh, Bedtime Stories. <laughs> oh, okay. Jesus Christ. And Pixels. Oh, I thought you were going <laughs> to... I never saw Pixels. Is it any good? No. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it wouldn't be on my list if it was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, fine. Uh, I, do have, I do have two really good ones that I, I just don't know which one I want to get. Oh, you're next again? I am. Oh, wow. Because it's Snake. It comes back. Oh, okay. How many... How many more? How many do I get to guess? You have two more. You have two coming up back to back. Back to back? Yeah, you have two coming up back to back here, uh, <sighs> there, Bubba. Boy. Okay. Ah, damn it. This is kind of tough. Uh huh. Because I didn't really like one, and I really liked the other. I'm, I'm going to go. <sighs> fuck. Mm-hmm. This is so tough. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go Chuck and Larry. I'm surprised I, JP didn't know what know, right? <laughs> That was going to be my last pick. <laughs> so, I, I'm going to pick Chuck and Larry. I thought it was hilarious. It's a good movie. Yeah. Uh, right. Steve, you get two in a row. I am going with Mr. Deeds. Yeah, that was the one I was kind of wavering on. And Grown Ups. Okay. I, uh, I saw the first Grown Ups. It was between that and Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo, but he didn't have, like, I don't know. Anyway. Well, uh, well, that kind of makes me happy because I'm going to go with uh, the other one I was kind of wavering over between the three, and I'm going to go with Anger Management. That was fucking good, It dude. was good. That was actually really good. I really liked that movie a lot. I feel like I'm going to have to go home and watch a fucking Adam Sandler marathon well, for the you next kinda, two days. Well, you, you'd be surprised how many movies he's in. Oh, dude, it's insane. It's, it's yeah. nuts. Yeah. The list I'm looking at has top 50. So who has more picks now? Just JP? JP just has, has one? his last pick. That's it? That's it. And uh, he's trying to find the worst Worst one. movie of all time. Uh, if he doesn't pick Little Nicky, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Little Nicky's great. I was going to say, uh, I actually, I actually like too. Little Nicky. All right. I'm, going, I bet he, I'm betting he picks like a hot chick or something. Uh, 50 I'm first going with days. Sandy Wexler. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Sandy Wexler. Oh, shit, that's oh awesome. my God. So, anyways, that is our. Uh, that, that is, is a hell of a list, boys. There's, that is. There's a lot of honorable mentions. I mm-hmm. really did like the first half of Click. The yeah, second half yeah, was yeah, like depressing. Yeah. Yep. So, I didn't like that. Spanglish was awful. Oh, my God. I love that movie. <laughs> I thought it was terrible. <laughs> Cloris Leachman, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, Anything with Cloris Leachman and, and Adam Sandler in it. Fuck. Uh, Bulletproof was good. Yeah. Bulletproof was legit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but they the list that I have on here has his number one movie is Going Overboard. Really? Yeah. That's strange. That is very uh, strange. I, I found it odd to find uh, one of my favorite movies on the entire planet is called Dirty Work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I love that movie so much, and it popped up that he was in that movie, and I cannot for the life of me remember where the fuck he was at in oh, that movie. no. It had to have been a small part, like a super small part, because um, it was Norm MacDonald was the the biggest part of yeah. the whole movie, and then fucking Artie Lang, and I don't, I just, I don't remember where the fuck Adam Sandler was in that movie. I'm sure he was there. Oh, uh, Chris Farley was hilarious in that movie. The Saigon whore that bit his nose off. Oh yeah, I forgot. Dude, about holy that. shit! It was. I love that fucking. It was such a B list, <laughs> yeah. stupid fucking. But it was just, dude. I love that movie. I, f- I forgot. Chevy Chase was in that movie too. I, I know. As the doctor. I f- I did find another one. I totally forgot about. You don't mess with the Zohan. No, oh, dude, that was great. I thought that it was, one was hilarious. Fucking funny. It was so stupid. It was and corny, so dumb. But it was great. 
But yeah, you guys, you can go to laughing on the sidelines dot uh, or at at Facebook dot com and vote uh, for the list of the your favorites, mm-hmm. your mm-hmm. favorites, JP, your yeah, favorite Adam Sandler Those movies. Those are my favorites. The f- <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch watch them I when have, I get home tonight. All of them, yeah. uh-huh. back to all back right. to back to back That's to back to awesome, back. Dude. You can also go on X, uh, which is at lot sidelines, and vote there as well. Uh, and whoever wins next week gets a mouth hug from JP, I'm thinking. Yeah. Very well. Uh, I'm in. Fuck, I hope I win. There you go. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to Wait, my... Uh, oh, on, on that what? subject, oh, okay. um, I was just going to ask everyone that's out there um, to please uh, send some prayers up from Natalie, my wife, for mm-hmm. her yes, cancer. Absolutely. Fight. Yeah. Please. And then for me to get a mouth hug from JP. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but now I get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Travis Cagle and his New York Times bestseller, The Boy Who Cried Weasel. Gosh, I wish I knew what that felt like. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand that level of rejection. <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe. Maybe. But not today. Not definitely not this weekend, <laughs> That's for sure. Right. When he was rejected. No, I was not. <laughs> I was picked. Great. That's uh gosh, I wish I understood what he felt like. <laughs> Anyways. But I do not at all this i was picked <laughs> this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is dear god would you rather have your hand bitten off by a shark while filming an episode on jackass mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or would you rather be a transsexual at the tiger king's place and get your hand bitten off by a tiger i'll go first i I wouldn't. I am going Tiger King. We know. Yeah. Because there's meth. <laughs> That's true. And so once your hand gets bitten off or whatever, at least you could fucking medicate. Yeah. Oh, if you get true. your hand eaten off by that a shark. That is true, dude. On jackass, they're basically fucking, yeah. But no. it's rubbing salt in the wound, too. Right. It's salt yeah, water. Right. That's got to burn a little bit. I'm going to go Tiger. I think that's fucking cooler. Um, Somehow. I don't. Man, I, I, plus, I've always wanted to be trans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I support I you. Mean, if it's a choice. Thank go you, for Steve. it. Yeah. I'm going to buy you so much Bud Light. <laughs> like, yeah. just, well, that just takes a case. And yeah. then you'll That's wake all up tomorrow takes. and you'll all be in a takes. dress. And yeah. you'll be like, what the fuck? Uh, That's awesome. This how, isn't Saturday. How. <laughs> <laughs> How commit? How committed to this trans thing do we have to be? Very. I mean, are we getting surgery? You're talking oh, yeah. it back. No, no you don't have to get surgery. Dylan Mulvaney's never gotten surgery. He still has a dick. Oh, good for him. <laughs> but what do we? Do we have to get no. surgery? No. Okay. Just get your hand eaten off. Just I, go in my cold plunge and you will have a vagina. I promise you. Your <laughs> dick turns inside out. I promise you. It I happens every you. day. Except for Saturday and Sunday. Mine stays out after that. Uh, if, if God damn it, if this were any other animal in this fucking water, I want to be on jackass. I don't mind getting hurt a little bit, but if you put me in anywhere where there's fucking sharks, I will, I'll die. Yeah. I will die yeah. of fear. And so I'm... He does look like a snacky little morsel to a shark. Though, oh, you God. Know? And he kind of looks like a trans woman. <laughs> that is true. Thanks, man. Damn, Damn, this has got to be a thanks. tough one for him. <laughs> yeah, if, people, if, if you told people you used to be a chick, I bet you they'd believe it. Oh, man, that hurts. I um, thought that that's what he was. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just fully committed. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, so basically, I get to be myself and go and get my hand bitten off by a tiger. Easy deal. It's easy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Way easier. We it's got, a tough we got one, man. Two trans tigers here. Don't let us down. It is a tough <laughs> one because you're already on land. You can just put a tourniquet on it and then, you Smoke know what I mean? Meth. Oh, man, this is fucking tough. But I feel like, kind of like I was talking about earlier, I don't you're feel going like. For the street cred. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get that street cred. If you get your hand bitten off by a fucking shark on Jackass 2, and people are like, what happened to your hand? Jackass 4 and, or 5, actually. Whatever. And then it's like, I got my hand bitten off by a shark on Jackass. Go watch it. Even a 12 year old kid's going to be like, dude, that's so fucking cool. But if you're like, um, 
I was in love <laughs> with this gay guy that sold tigers, uh, and I was a transvestite, <laughs> and I was trying to feed a tiger, and I got too close to it, and it bit my hand. That's just too long of a story. Yeah, one. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Okay. I feel like jackass is the way to go. All right. I uh, really do. I feel like there's more respect. You know, because uh, people are going to be like, that guy's a fucking very, movie star. There are a lot of transphobic. He wasn't people just out in it too. He was <laughs> <laughs> good point, Steve. No, I will tuck my dick back right now, sir. Yeah, I promise. Yeah. I already have tits. I mean, you can see them every day when I do my plunges. I don't do it in a shirt, dude. How fucking horrible would that be? Like the fat kid in my swim shirt when I got into the fucking when I got into the cold plunge. I might actually start doing that from now on. From now on, my tits are gigantic. Dude. Derek, they flop around. We had a question. They here. float on the top. <laughs> yes, yeah. they do. I have to push the nipples back down underwater. We had a question years ago on this show, and it was uh, something in relation to going streaking out on a baseball field, mm -hmm. and Derek picked the other option because he said that if he went streaking on a baseball field he would look like a transgender person who hasn't fully committed yet you know what's <laughs> so, made of play-doh <laughs> i imagine i imagine Derek naked looks like a simpsons character <laughs> Like on Family Guy where Peter Griffin walks out naked and yeah. you can't see his dick. Right. That's awesome, yeah. dude. I love that. I, I could see that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well. Uh, I wonder how Derek shaves, shaves his balls. Oh, he doesn't. You don't think so? He's just no. full on bush he? there? He doesn't even shower every day. Yeah. Okay. Come on, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh fuck! I bet he puts if Derek, nair. If Derek ever he uses did, nair. if Derek ever did shave his balls and ass, they could make a wig for a small child going through <laughs> chemotherapy. <laughs> that poor kid. <laughs> yeah. Just when they thought it couldn't get worse. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Oh uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's another great episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Yeah. I'd like to thank Mr. Steve Peters. Thank you very much, sir. Comedy. And as always, JP, he's the man. No, seriously, thank you guys very, very much. Uh, you should for bring glitter with you. Uh, that would be messy. Hold on, I've got some. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, it's in my pocket. Shit. <laughs> I love it. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for doing everything that you guys do uh, for this podcast. Telling people word of mouth is pretty much the the advertising that we have and our TikToks and our social media shares that we do. Share those to your friends. If you like them, we sincerely do appreciate it. But... As we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope that you're close to a bum fight when it breaks out, and then they just decide to start fighting you. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, keep, keep on laughing, assholes. assholes. We'll see you later. Take care. Bye! Bye!